put this on here. Okay, so we're just going to start with like uh, the seal jack, and then you're going to go up the middle. I love this. And you can step it, right? You can always step it too, and then go up twice if you need to. Just make sure you guys modify anything we did tonight. Um, and I think we're pretty good. We all know that it like lots of legs, of course, lots of core, um, but a little bit of arms. So let's go 10 more seconds here, and then we're just going to do like a static wide lunge. I'll be a little stretch there for the inner, inner thighs. Five, four, get three, two. Okay. It takes a little coordination there, right? Yeah. Now just take your legs wide, and then you're just going to shift side to side and kind of like push your weight out behind you, and you can fully come out of the flat and just kind of push your hips forward a little bit at the top, right? Pushing back and then pushing forward. Great. And then we're going to come in and do some squats next, and then I have a little push up for you. You can need 10 more seconds to see. Really, really sit back in those dips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So you're all right. You're just going to pass. So it's good. All right. And then we're just going to come in here. You're going to do a squat to a knee. So I would just try to get your knee up to meet the elbow instead of bringing the elbow down. Just try to just keep the elbow. Right about chest level there and kind of drive that knee okay, and twist like you're twisting through the waist, right? I'm twisting through the waist. Nice and deep. Those squats good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we're going to do a little push up. So you can modify it on the knees if you need to. So you're going to do a little push up here. And then you're just going to come up and give a one shoulder tap. So one push up, one tap. And just alternate, you know, come across with the right and you come across with the left. What are you guys going tonight? And I start to get kind of sleepy. I guess I could watch TV too, but I'm just hungry. I don't know what it is. Scroll through Instagram a couple minutes and I'm ready to, ready to sleep. Yeah, 20 minutes is all I need. Three, yeah. two, and girls, and then take those wide legs and then just go side to side right here. I was scrolling today. My uh, son has homecoming on Saturday. And his girlfriend just has really long, just pretty straight hair. Um, and she was like, I think I'm just going to wear it down. And I was like, how about I do it? And I find a style for you. So today oh. I was like on a mission because they have all these like little tutorials on Instagram of yeah. like, kind of like almost like hair hacks. Yeah. yeah. Um, where you just like, I'm going to just braid her sides and then pull it back. Yeah. And like you like tuck it. Remember you used to like tuck your ponytails through? Yeah. yeah. Like and make like a little twist. Yeah. There's some yeah. great they ones. Yeah. All kinds of neat things now. Right. Right. You never know. Yeah. I know. That is so sweet. Last one. And I saw this like, um, you basically take, like, if I'm going to braid her side, you just pull it like super loose. Do you know what I'm talking about? So it's not as tight, right? It's cuffed. And it looks beautiful. It almost looks like ribbons. It's like, oh, so I told her, I was like, we'll try it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how great it's going to be, but yeah. Here I am with, like, I can't ever do my own. So I'm like, you know, excited to do hers. Yeah. I was like, you need to do hair. I worked in that hair salon at Turning Heads for 10 years. Uh -huh. And I was like, dead set on going to baby school. And my mom, you know, she's a hairdresser. And after I worked at that salon, I was like, 
I don't want to do it. I'm not yeah. Do it. yeah. I mean, her body is a wreck. Um, the money is good, but it's inconsistent. I mean, yeah. it's like, yeah. 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 But we had fun. I mean, it was a fun time in my life. And most girls are all like, that's yeah, so working out with swans really cool. Like, yeah. And you get free stuff. Like, oh, yeah. Not only do you get free stuff, you get free services. Like, I have a hard time paying for stuff now. You know, it's fine. The price is on you. Yeah. Like, I need to find somebody that will trade massages. <laughs> I'll train you for 45 minutes and you can give me a 45 minute massage. So, if you guys want to do it, And then your elbows point towards the floor, and you're you're just gonna tap like the top of the shoulder there. It's good. You're just gonna slide them up, slide them down. Okay. Kind of jump in and see what you think. We'll go longer on our first set. Yeah, we're gonna get treats right today. So just remember, don't let your shoulders round fully as you go down. Keep the shoulders back, and just keep them right on the front of the body. Just right down, right up. And I'm just like sitting right back into my heels. Awesome. Okay, we'll stay here for 12 seconds. And we're going to do one side at a time with our squats. You're going to just do maybe the right arm first, and then we'll do the left arm. Five, four, three, two, one. And then let me show you here. You're going to just set one down. And then we're going to go maybe a little wide, about as wide as your mat. And then you're just going to give it me like a single thruster. So we're going to do it right here. Just one side at a time. Yes. You might have to go down on the weight a little bit. And then we'll just do about 20 seconds on each arm. That's it. For on each arm, I should say. You have your hand on your hip. You can have your arm out to the side. Whatever feels best there. Super good, girls. Out of 10. And Brad. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, have your six. Nine, seven. Yeah. Awesome. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And then pass it off. And then just think straight up up the front of the shoulder there. And you're going to push it through the roof. Down and out. Awesome. 
And then we're just gonna do curtsies without a weight. Just get you like moving a little bit, low impact though. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, just make sure the weights are kind of out of the way there for a second. And then you should do a curtsy back and across so you can reach. You can kind of hit the inside of the heel there. Okay, if you want to leave it low impact like this, that's great. If you want to make it high impact, then you could almost go for like a little chomp side to side too. Get your heart rate up a little bit more there. Just hitting the right inside of the ankle. The curtsy skater kind of is what I'm looking for. And that's the first set. So we're just going to go right back to that deadlift. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Quite a difference from uh, the other night, isn't it? Yeah. In here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice and quiet. Yeah. I didn't know what I was going to run into when I got here. I was like, okay. Hey. Hey. Well, like, you people there? Yeah. It was, it, was, it was loud. Yeah. It was loud and like. So just a little bit cramped. <laughs> yeah. Um, Leslie is going to go get her daughter from uh, OU. Oh, tonight. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And then let her and then Becky, her parents came in town this morning, so she's like, I'm gonna miss. Uh, you guys super good. That is Oh, yeah, that's great. Five, four, three, two, and then just drop to that single leg. Take your feet a little wide, okay? Arm either out or on the hip there. And then just get down nice and easy. Where you guys got going on this thing? Uh, it's kind of hard Saturday to play here. And I'm not going to be able to I'm sorry. We're taking this. Grandson. Um, his. Her birthday. How old is he? Six. Seven. Where are you? Six. Kids. Five. That's 21. Cute. Three. I've never been. I want to go. One of these tonight. Really nice. Cute. They're fun. And you can order food, right? Yeah. Food trucks outside. Oh. Or yeah, they don't offer food inside. Okay. Food in, but okay. Yeah, great. I want to do that, and then I want to do that axe throwing. Have you guys ever done that? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had one time, it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. And that'd be good. And I think they did the same thing. Offer drinks, but no, we have to just bring yeah. food. I'm not sure I'm trusting that you throw that axe. Right. Seven, Six. <laughs> so I'm actually waiting to happen. Right? Four. Three, two, one, and then our curtsies. Will you guys go the one that you skin, or? That's where we're going to go, yeah. The other one. The downtown or the Dublin? The Dublin, actually, did all three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Six, no, yeah. Four, 
Three? Did we start watching at noon? I'm like, I'm done by like, I'm like, 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 I'm done listening to TV. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, we watched, um, my kids started it last night, and I just happened to take a seat and try to, like, but I don't know. It, it was kind of crazy that Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, I know I've heard about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was like, it kind of after, I watched like two or three, because <laughs> you kind of get sucked in, and then you all of a sudden it's kind of like starts to mess with your head. Like, I was like, yeah. I gotta turn this off. Like, right. you don't see a lot of stuff, but it's so bizarre. Yeah. So much. Yeah. It's so yeah. twisted. Like, I don't know if you guys like that kind of stuff, but I like that kind of stuff. I've got to find it. It's bizarre, but what's crazy is one more guys switch. It's that the police were called several times and like never checked up on it. Or there was an instance where one like one boy got out and he was so drugged up that he convinced the police that this is his boyfriend and they had a relationship. Because he was and then he had just been drinking, but he like uh, and then let him take him back up and he took him like oh, oh, check it out. And he was 14 years old. Oh, and the neighbors kept saying, This boy is not his boyfriend Lita and the police just I think they didn't want to deal with it because they knew he was a homosexual and they were like just didn't like didn't want anything to do with it, you know, one more year. But I'm like, I think that's what bothered me the most about it. It was like, uh, yeah. No. You guys look very nice. No. Teresa, <laughs> they were you. It's a suspenseful. I don't yeah. like these or any of that. <laughs> And that's for like the dateline where I don't know yeah. the story or the people. Those are pretty good, right? Four, three, two, awesome. Okay, cool. Grab some water, you guys. I like those like mystery, do you ever listen to those mystery podcasts or anything like that? Is that good? I don't know what it is about the more like Yeah. I want to do. And then one more coming out. Yeah. I think it's late for a while. I think it's like Let me show you guys. You guys are going to grab some water. You're going to start here with. Eyes up, chin up. 
saints in a burn three quick there since you were just using those tries and that chest crusty back. 12 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this is where maybe you guys need to go. Uh, possibly just a little bit lighter on your weights. Um, I should probably grab something else to show this. But so I'm gonna have two, and I'm gonna have them separated, and I'm just going like a pullover with the press there. And so I should like I might get some like sevens or eights. Try it, you guys. If you want to put them together, you can put them together, and then just kind of push them up that way, a little easier. Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna sit up and kick it up towards the leg. So you're gonna separate it, which is a little bit harder. Or you can touch them end to end. Or you can use one even, right? You can use one. So you're just gonna pull it over and touch. If you touch the ends of them together, it will help a little bit. It feels like it's too much. But just look up. It kind of helps get a little focal point up on the ceiling. So it's going to work your lats a little bit. Obviously, your core. You don't have to go all the way up. Look, you can just bring the shoulders up ever so slightly right, towards those step outs. Give me about 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go right back up to that big press. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. So then you're just going to pop those weights, okay? Back up to the top with the palms facing in. And then you're going to wire at the bottom, high at the top, right? You'll feel this a little bit uh, faster if you're on the second set. So it's just real quick, big burn, and then we'll be back up to our feet for some more legs. All right, big squeeze. Let's go. 20 seconds. Alright, time's up. Deep breath into the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now those skull pressures. Put the ends together. We're down to one. We'll lighten up the dumbbells all together. Just that hinge from like the elbow to the wrist. The upper portion of your arm just stays okay, nice and high there. Everybody good to put the guy? You guys feeling these? Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two and one, and then drop down to maybe those smaller weights if you need to. Yep. Palms face away from you. You're either singing those dumbbells together, okay? and then you're adding that single leg lift and just going up as high as you're comfortable with your shoulders. Try not to let that lower back come up off the mat when you're going over with your weights. I'm going to let you guys put the weight down, okay, in about and then you can do 10 more, and I'll let you put it down, keep on, 8, 7, you 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, put them down. Like relax first. For about five seconds, and then we'll pick it up. Here we go. Four, three, two, the third set, that set. Here we go. Big chest. Anchor yourself to the floor. Four, two, we're working off the bench there. How long is it? Use that good core to stabilize. Awesome, you guys are perfect. Everybody looks super good. Nice to reach up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then your skull pressure. Switch it out. Give you a second to set it up. Five, four, three. Two, here we go. Best clean 
clean. Really good squeeze at the top. Awesome reps. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then you pull over. Just give about 30 seconds here, and then we will come up. We're going to grab again with another water, and then go back to our legs, okay? And again, as high as you're coming up there. Get those shoulders up. Yeah. Your arms are burning. Nice guys, push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and there you have it. Ooh. Okay, come up, grab a drink, shake your mouth a little bit, and I'll show you guys the steps. So we're gonna go, um, you just, it's just all legs. <laughs> There's a little bit of, um, just a little bit of arms, um, just by holding the weight, basically. So um, you could use one, you guys could use two. I would say this would even be a good way to kind of hold the dumbbell um, end to end here. So you're gonna do a squat to reverse lunge. And I know you guys have done this before. So you're gonna do a squat, and then you're gonna add a reverse lunge. So squat, and then you're gonna just alternate the lunges. And then the second move, let me show you, we're gonna hold the weight, okay, in one arm, and then you're gonna lunge back, and then you're gonna pull. You're gonna kick through, so like here. We'll just do one side at a time, and we'll pass into the other. And then you have speed skaters. Um, and that's the jam, all right? So let's start you guys. Uh, actually, you know what, some speed skaters, we might do um, like a pop squat kind of thing. Since so we already did some curses. But lock in here so you can definitely go a little heavy. You can even do two dumbbells, or like I said, this is you know, an option to hold like this. All right, so that would hold. You're going to start with me right here. So squat, and then step back into that lunge. And each time you come back in on that squat, just make sure that your feet are. You know, two points. One at least get distance apart. Nice, you guys. Just keep your chest, you know, open, shoulders back and down. Watch the clock. Awesome. I did these this morning, so my legs are like, oh my goodness. <laughs> they're, they're, they're already resisting me. Okay. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, you guys, four, three, two, and one. So I'm going to hold it in my left hand, and I'm just going to use my right leg. And if you don't love kicking in the leg first, you can just pull the knee. So I'll show you what I mean here. Here's the lunge with the kick, and if you want to do a lunge with the knee, you could do this instead, okay? Maybe a little... Uh, a little work for the balance, so just find like a focal point in front of you. And you could definitely go super heavy on this one. Like that, if you want to load up, get a nice heavy dumbbell there. And you can even stop in the middle, right? You can stop with the toe, then add the kick, if that's a little better for your balance. Yep, right. yep, and then we'll just switch arms and switch legs. So you're either pulling the knee or you're kicking it through and you're going at your own pace. Okay, if you want more of a challenge, you're just going to go a little bit faster. It'll definitely be a little harder on one side. But I like the arm out. The arm definitely helps with the balance. Right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You're using your core there to pull that leg. 3, 2, okay, and then switch it out. So try, get your focal point, that hand out there, either for that toe tap or, look, that knee tap right there. Or you can alternate, I kind of like that. You can do one knee, you can do one toe. Ooh. Oh. Take it back on, there we go. Okay, you guys. So just all legs here for the next like six minutes. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then 
we can either do, let's do low impact, let's do side stepping squats. So basically, you just have like one foot here in the middle, so you step, and then I just kind of use the middle of my mat as a guide there. Okay, just say to side. Now if you want it to be more impact, you can just add like a little hop of it, like that, okay? Or just keep the pace a little bit quick if you're gonna step. I don't know, the arms seem to help too, kind of pump the arms, right? Okay, 15 seconds, and we're right back to the top. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and there it is. Woo! Right, that'll get ya. Okay, right back to the top. Grab your weight. Okay, either a hold on the ends or a goblet hold like this. And then you're starting, okay. Ooh, round two, here we go, squat to lunge. So we get through this circuit and that's it for the uh, for the legs, you guys. We're gonna do just upper body and core, okay? So just thinking about burning out these squats and lunges. You guys look great right though, nice big steps. Okay, watching the knees, perfect. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, get three, two, one. Okay, and then just pick a side. But I'm going to hold it in my left and kick it through with my right. Okay. I did put that hand up. Here we go. Okay, and this one's sneaky. It burns quick. Okay. Ten, nine. Your kids have a. You have one in high school, right? You have one in high school. It's yes, next week. Yeah. Are they going or? Uh, if you go, it'll just be with friends. Okay. Yeah. Three. Saying, you know, give me another notice if you take it a date. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. So which side, you guys? Does he have a girlfriend or no? No. no. So oh, I think it, it would just be a friend yeah. thing. How many of those friends do? No? Yeah, they might date a little bit, but no one has like someone that's a regular. Yeah. Reed and his girlfriend are like the one that was here. Uh-huh. They're really serious. Really? Yeah. They've been hasn't been a year yet, but um, like she's over like or he's over there almost I would say they're like together at least five nights out of the week. No. Yeah. And during the summer she babysits for three has uh, sisters with his dad. Uh-huh. Three, two, so I don't know. I would for them. Wow. Yeah. I uh, I talked to all the other moms in the out there. Very anti serious relationships with their teenagers, you know. And I'm like, I'm a lover. I'm like, if I could get lucky with her, yeah. Um, but who knows? I also don't want them to, you know, not go away or yeah. start something too quick, right? Without like trying to at least, as long as they still have their life yes. goals, exactly. And exactly. <laughs> And still do fun things outside of gaming too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nine, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh goodness. Okay, ladies and gents, one more. Okay, one more. One more. I promise. Oh, I got some fun stuff for you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know that anything that you do is fun. You don't like it. It's not bad, I promise. Okay, let's think burn out though. Think burn out on these legs. I mean, it's a necessary oh, evil yeah. <laughs> to aging. It's <laughs> bad. And how old are your other kids? Do you have anyone you marry? Uh, my oldest is 28 in a few weeks. Okay. And she's engaged. Awesome. When does that happen? Not till the end of 2023. Okay. She's not as far. All right, good. And I have a daughter who will be 26 in a couple of months, and then a 19 year old, and then a 16 year old. Okay. Kind of run the, yeah. run the ages. Yeah. <laughs> Most 
four, three, two, and one. You do love it, but I am enjoying them being older. I mean, it's just, it's kind of fun now, you know? They're like, they're like, uh, Really enjoyable to be around for the most part. Right, exactly. <laughs> there's, not, there's not the drama. No, there's not a lot of drama, to be honest. My third year old grandson called me at 4.30 this morning. Oh, is that really? Did that scare you? That and we used to listen to the phone from my dad. But when it rang, I didn't think about it. Yeah. So I said, Donna, take this away. I think I, I can't find my book bag. I'm pretty sure I left today. Oh, cross country. And I go to sleep. Oh, 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 she got it, so she picked it up. Oh, yeah. and it worked out. Right? Yeah. Nana. Oh. 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 That's what my mom She's Nana, too. What do you, 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 what Nice, awesome. Eight. 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 Eight.
try to keep the bottom from coming up. And you can do this with no weight too. Like you could just punch on one arm. If you wanted to do like a single arm punch on one side, like here, it will work too. Okay, I promise you guys, it's fast. Keep going. In and out. In and out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then you're going to go back over onto one side here. So I'm going to go back. Um, I started pushing with my right arm, so I'm going to go to my right side. Or my, my right side will be on top. And you're going to add that loose through high right here. And you can make a kickstand. You don't need a weight. Yeah, you guys want to try it without a weight? No. If you want to use a weight, that's great. If you want to use that kickstand, like you see on my bottom, you can sit down, you can go there. Or if you feel like you need a little more challenge, then you can go up entirely. But I would take my eyes with it. You're going to kind of look through. And then you're going to look high. You just open up so you can see there. Do the other side. You guys look great. Awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you're going to switch. Right? Cool. Set it up. Go. 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach through, reach high. Okay, take your eyes with you. And that's the work, so we're gonna go right back to that little kneeling table that we did. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Okay, go back to your weight there. Just a little uh, tone here. For your core, your shoulders. All right, so again, if you want to do a standing, you can do a standing too. Just jump in with me as soon as you're ready. Take oh, a nice. Oh, not yet. Yeah, that was awesome. There you go. You're set up to go. That's good. All right, up and around. So right here. I'm going to circle around my head. Bring it there. Circle around. Nice. Yeah, you kind of just like stop yourself and then go to the other direction, right? Kind of stop it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, I'm going to come to the top of your mat. Remember, punches are optional too. If you don't love using the weight, okay, then you're just going to punch in and out on one arm, or slide in and out on one side. Feet as wide as your mat is going to help you if you're up on your toes. Push it. More punch it. Got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and switch. Pass it off. Here we go. Oh, yeah, nice. We're doing all right. Yeah, hold it tight. On the knees or the toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and then you're going to your side plank. Just kind of go back and forth from side to side. There you go. Reach through every time. Stack them off. Or add that kickstand with that bottom knee. It's great, you guys. I think I might give us a little break. And we'll go on our back for a little bit, and then we'll come back to this at the very end, and then hold our plank. Okay, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Swing around. So as soon as we get down to the side, we're just gonna go right to our back. Okay. Here we go. Hip up high. Check in with your breathing too. Inhale. And then exhale through the nose. In through the nose, exhale through the mouth. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm going to give you a little relief. Just lay back here, and we're going to start with single arm, um, or single side, I should say. 
single side here. So you're just going to come across. We're going to take that right elbow to that left knee. So we'll just stay on one side. Don't pull your head. Just kind of come off. Come there. Okay. And then just straighten that, that leg. Open up that elbow. Okay, bring it open. And then bring it across. Keep your eyes up. Now we're doing one for your own knee. So we'll do single side. And then we'll go regular bicycles. Ready to switch sides? Five, four, three, two. Okay, switch. So let's do the other. Open it. Ten seconds. We're going to go regular bicycles, and you've got the option to go kind of slow, or you can go a little fast. I'll show you the slow, and then I'll show you the fast. Okay, five. Four, three, two. So a modified bike would look like this, where you were alternating sides here. Okay, if you feel like you need it a little bit faster, then you're just going to do regular bikes right here. All right, go ahead and jump in with me. Again, try not to pull on the head, relax the neck. I'm going to be relieved for your neck next. Okay, yeah, 15, 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Same nice, you guys. Okay, knees up here in that tabletop position, and then you're just going to drop. You've done these before. Keep your lower back glued to the floor, and then arms kind of out to the side there, and then you're just tapping. One toe, and then bring that knee right back up in line with the hip. It's a great one to really work on keeping those lower core muscles engaged. Take okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you can leave your knees up or you can let those toes come down and you're going to go regular crunches. So either knees up in your crunch okay, or you can have the toes down. Just crunch in, up at the top. Look. Up, like above the knees is where I'm looking. Crunch it hard. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to do those little rockers, okay? So you're going to cross one over, and then you're just going to kind of rock it up and down on one side. Now, if you need a little assistance, just put your hands near your lower back, and you can actually let your foot come all the way down to the floor. You can touch right there and then lift, right? You can actually touch the heel and then lift up one side at a time. We're only doing this one time through. These are hard, but they work. Okay, you got about 12 seconds and then you'll switch the side. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, and then let's cross. And that leg across the other side. And then start to go. Great. You can fully set that heel on the knee. You can bring that leg up. Super strong. Okay. Long legs. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Four guys. Okay, we're almost done. You're gonna pop your legs back up in that tabletop position. Come up and show a crunch, and then give you these pulses here. So let's keep the shoulders down. Put tension under your palm, and just fire up those upper abs as good as you can. Like really think about it. Okay, squeeze. Pressure under the palms. Awesome. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, quick set of flutters. And then we're going to go. Stay back over and finish it out, you guys. You ready? Here we go. Flutter down. You can make them big. You can make them small. Just watch the lower back. You got 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sweet. Okay. Come on up. Over to the front side here, one more time. We're going to bring on our uh, clock there. So quick pin rows, 
we'll just do plank punches, okay? We won't even use the weight, okay? And then we'll do a little rotating plank, and then we'll just hold in the middle. So one more time again, we're going to switch it up kind of on the end here. Then wrap it up here with your little halos. Okay. And then switch directions. Think about what you're feeling, right? Think about it. Put your belly button in towards your spine as you're here. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And then watch me your second part of this. Just drop down to your rope leg. And you can alternate sides. Right here. Again, put the knees down if you need to, but keep the bottom down. Punch it out. It'll be quick. And go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're going to give our final minute. You guys are just going to start one side to side. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Open it up. Okay, and you're just rocking side to side. Or you can hold tight in the middle. Okay, you just hold tight. We're going to rock a little bit here side to side, and then we're going to hold. So last 40 seconds. Here we go. Side to side for a few, and then we hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. If you're not already in the middle, just drop it in and lock it in right here. 25 seconds. Go. 25. Okay. Crunch it. Great job, you guys. So we hit it. I tried to give you lots of it, and then... I hope you get the core. Hopefully we're feeling that. 15. Draw the heels back. Okay. Step the knees down. Drop the hips just ever so slightly. Squeeze the butt. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And you probably will feel really good if you guys want to lay out for a second there. Okay. You can go all the way down to the mat there. Stretch the arms out. Stretch the legs long. And then take it as you left. From there, we're going to like a cobra. So you're going to bring your hands kind of right along the sides of your chest there. And then you're just going to push up. You can go half cobra with a halfway up. Or you can go full cobra with the eyes kind of go towards the ceiling. And then we'll hit back into child pose. This one feels super short. So we're going to go lower back. And those lower abs. And then let's push back into that child pose. Separate the knees a little bit so you can get back between the legs slightly. And then toes kind of come together. And then just reach. And let's work into this. Walk out a little bit there. And then take a deep breath. And then we'll make our way up to our feet, you guys. Once you're ready, kind of come in that tabletop position. Tuck your toes. And then you're just going to kind of push up into like a modified down dog. Just kind of come here. You bend the knees a little bit, and then just kind of carefully walk your hands in towards your feet there. You can take a second to take the elbows, put them on the inside of the knees, and just kind of press out. Okay, so it should feel a release in the hamstrings, a little back. And then once you're up top, I will just go side to side, come towards the rotation. Should feel kind of good. A couple shoulder hugs here, and some rolls, all the things, okay? All right, great job, you guys. Thank you so much. Awesome job. Thank you, honey.